Hey guys, Kevin here from RC Sim 2.0. Just going to show you a quick video on how to use a USB to transmitter adapter for RC Sim and to calibrate it in Windows and in game. So, step one is hit your Windows button and type in the word controllers, and you'll see right up here at the top it says set up USB game controllers. We're going to click on that, and I've got my unit already plugged in. You'll see it shows up as virtual RC USB. We're going to click on that and click properties. We're going to go to settings, and I usually hit reset to default to start out. Hit the calibrate button, the wizard pops up, and it says leave the handle centered, and then press a button on the controller. So we're just going to leave the steering and the throttle at zero. Make sure your endpoints adjustments are at 100% each on the radio. And then go ahead and click next. You'll see this jumbling around, and it's asking you to move every axis to its paces. So I'm just moving the throttle full. And full reverse and steering left to right and once you've done that you'll see it kind of finds center there you'll click next and now it's asking you to do the next axis on a two channel radio there's only going to be two axes so you can just click through these there is no z-axis and then it just says click finish and when you're done click apply click ok and you can close this down uh, next is going to be start the game And then you'll see the easiest way to do this is to just go into your, after the game loads, you can just go into game options. And under the input folder, I'm going to show you how to set dead zones, how to map an axis, uh, and how to use the invert buttons in case your steering is backwards or your throttle is backwards. And also how to set the brakes up. So first step, go into game options, input. You're going to see the virtual RC USB controller is our assigned controller. If you have multiple controllers signed up or plugged in, you can just click this assign controller button and you can change from each one. Uh, first step, uh, first thing I want to show you is the driving, flying, boating, and roaming. Each one of these are different modes of use where you're in game. So uh, basically we're going to be first showing the driving because this is a two-channel surface radio. Again, click calibrate. You'll notice that uh, the default settings has a slight dead zone on axis 0, and then axis 1 is also a little bit of dead zone as well. Those are set up for if you're using an Xbox 360 controller at default. So if you are using a USB to transmit or adapter, uh, it's best to turn you know, dead zone all the way down. Again, on axis 1 uh, is the throttle. Oh, I hear the car taking off there. Uh, turn the dead zone down on that one as well. So. Basically, that's all you really have to do in here. The calibration is going to pick up the same calibration that Windows. If you do have a problem or something and you want to calibrate it, again, here's, we're going to go on axis zero, which is the steering wheel here. And then we're going to click calibrate. And then it's just asking you to leave it centered until the timer clicks down. And then once the timer clicks, just move your steering full left to right. And that's going to uh, calibrate the wheel in game. So now you'll see you've got a nice no dead zone, nice one to one ratio. Uh, sensitivity and uh, your z it's a floating zero point you can actually offset it so if you've got a, a trigger that doesn't quite you know return back to center you can move the zero point if you will obviously that zone you can make it real wide if you want to have it so it's uh, you know you got a bunch of play in there so you got a loose trigger or a loose spring on something or an old controller it doesn't quite center very well you can add a little bit of dead zone me I like it to be all the way down so it's nice and big when you're done go ahead and click done you'll notice the steering is axis zero, axis one is the throttle. My Airtronics radio sends the signal backwards, so I had to hit the invert button. That's what this little swirly button here is. And you'll see over on the right, you've got current input. So I go full right, full left, full throttle, full brake. And then if you'll notice, when I go full reverse on the throttle, it adds full brake to one on here. So that's actually engaging the brakes before the car's actually stopped. So again, you'll notice Axis zero is steering, axis one is throttle, it's reversed, and then when uh, the brakes are applied, it's grabbing only when you're when, uh, when the axis of the throttle is fully pressed forward. So it's only using the top half, so it's not using the, if you will, the negative side of the brake axis. So to make sure your brakes work, you always want to make sure that you always have this axis as well assigned. So when you do hit full reverse, these two kind of go the opposite way. That's going to show you, obviously, again, full reverse, but the brakes are also fully engaged when your car is rolling because the vehicles won't go into reverse until they're actually stopped, the wheel speed is stopped, and then you're 
uh, and then it transmits to or it transitions over to reverse. So other than that, that's about it. Click done, click done, back to the workbench. And now uh, you can go here, you can get the new, uh, you can click this to load a track or you can use the button up here on the menu. But that's about it for a two channel surface radio uh, for a USB transmitter for RCSIM 2.0. Thanks for watching.